Hello all, welcome back to a daily run. Isaac, I think we're going as far as Mega Stan. Now it's red, not Mega Stan. It is quite obviously just, oh, yes, uh, let's re-roll that. I don't know what it is. It's quite obviously just Satan. Charm of the Vampire, it's okay. Um, I had a look on Greed, but to see what the sorts of scores we're looking at here. The high score is currently 52,000. I use Greed, but because it filters out. Um, oh, that was really, really bad. Good start, good start. Uh, what's happening here? I can't hit this. There we go. Um, it filters out cheaters. You'll see at the top of any daily leaderboard, there's a few people who are quite obviously scumming it up, trying to get, you know, random scores from some exploit that they've discovered. Greed, but filters them out. I don't know why... You know, Isaac doesn't filter them out, but that's okay. Please. Uh, so, I don't think that's necessarily going to be that easy. But uh, we're up there looking at reasonably high scores. For a Satan run, I'm thinking about 30,000 is where we're going to be thinking about aiming ourselves. Ah, 30, 32. That sort of area. You know, you, we, we have got 52,000 before, very recently as well, on a Mega Satan run. In fact, that was yesterday's, I think. Oh, for goodness sake, die. <laughs> I don't know how to control these things. I seem to have forgotten how to play. Uh, probably I used up all my amazing skills yesterday. So, I, I think the day after an amazing run, considering I just uh, played for myself an Azazel run where I got real brimstone, and basically every damage upgrade you could possibly ever ask for. The run after that, you forget you're not powerful. <laughs> Make sense? Like, you forget that you're shit when you start a run. Because you just blitz through the chest, right? I just ran through the chest like I was out of control. Like a juggernaut, like a runaway, runaway train. Uh, thank you. Uh, that was a good bomb. And it took me no time at all. So I seem to have internalized that I'm very powerful and I'm not. So, you know, just remember that you're not all that. And start playing as though you have base damage. Well, I'm glad this is not the second floor. Because that was very bad damage. I should not have been standing there. Absolutely not. No sir, no way, Ruby Bob. I wish I had one more bomb just to speed this fight up a little bit. Go. We need to get in there, shoot a while, and then panic and run away. But it's, he's being very irregular with his shots today. It's making me upset. Come on, Bond. Fire. Yeah, there we go. You know you're reasonably safe a couple of seconds after it's fired, but... The... Oh, I did it again. Look, we're just going to have to... <laughs> shape up. Remember how to play. Calm down. Keep it real. Mr. Dolly is amazing. That's... Well, 2 HP, we couldn't take the third one. Three minutes on the first floor, though. Hmm. We'll have to speed up a little bit. We've got a basement, that should be nice and easy. No curse. An envy fight, just to piss us off, but at least it's going to take damage on the fires if we just keep ricocheting in like some sort of... very... Oh, you are such a dick. I was going to liken it to a, a game of, you know, breakout. But in fact, what happened was he came back and hit me. I assume there's some momentum that I have to overcome, and I didn't overcome it. Never mind. You die quickly. No, no, no. You die. At least we know what our item will be. We can decide whether to re-roll it. Charm of the Vampire is keeping us alive somewhat. But honestly, I don't think it's given us more HP back than has dropped. I'm not honestly sure whether this is a hard mode run. There seems to be an awful lot of champions, so I'm guessing it is. But I don't know whether that's to judge by the colour of the, the goal indicator. The fact that we've got a red Polaroid. Well, negative. Uh, or whether it's just something... I don't know. Uh, I'm going to take it. I wonder how many people would re-roll that. Many, I expect. Number one is a great tears upgrade, but the range downgrade you get as a result is very off-putting. So I would not be surprised if that was the first re-roll target. But then we have a deal with the devil, hopefully coming up. And the boss as well. So... It's not the only reroll target on this floor. We don't need to spend our reroll on it. And it's not worth not taking. It's not something you'd leave behind. Uh, 
This is really good if we could actually find a tinted rock. There's one right there. That's amazing. Let's put this here. We'll use both bombs to get to it. I want to get to it during, yeah, during this room. Just in case, these things have a nasty habit of randomly shooting and hitting me. Which, uh, I don't know if there's something I can do about that. Just play better. Yeah, good job. Thanks. Thanks for the advice. We have got a battery charge here as well, so if we don't like our deal with the devil, we can re-roll it. If we don't like our um, boss item, we can we can re-roll it. If we do like our deal with the devil, we can take it. Spawn next to your own fire, yes. Keep spawning next to your own bombs, I'm down with that. If we like the deal with the devil, we can take it and re-roll the boss item twice, but it's unlikely we'll be able to re-roll the devil item twice. Uh, I'll tell you what, we'll take black powder because it's kind of cool, especially against ground-based enemies. And I'll re-roll this into Cambian Conception, which I think is worthwhile. It does involve taking a quantity of damage, you know, to really get it to activate. Now, do we want to take this HP? I'm starting to... Th I'm coming around to the idea that taking HP at this stage is possibly a good idea, but I'm going to re-roll it because we got uh, damage and range, which is a lot, lot better. That was a good decision, I think. It doesn't allow us the maximum amount of survivability that we could uh, we could have managed because obviously HP is more survivability. It's just it's called HP. That was uh, an excellent bomb by that particular Joker just now. Uh, but I think the damage and range, especially having taken number one, which is a range downgrade, of course, the range upgrade helps, and a damage upgrade always helps. I'm starting to come around to Northern Lion's way of thinking that. Um, damage is better than basically anything else. Damage is better than HP, I will agree with. Not sure that damage is better than fire rate, but I think you have to grade that on a curve. You can look at something like soy milk, where you have t terrible, terrible damage, but a stupendous rate of fire, and you can see that you know fire rate doesn't necessarily make up for poor damage. Um, but you can also see that if you have low damage and a Poor fire, uh, high damage and poor fire rate, for example, use mascara, that's also pain in the ass. So, uh, it's kind of a much of a muchness. Now, I want to get sack head. That means I'm going to have to be careful, collect every single coin I can. A nice rate of fire does allow you to break poops quickly as well, which is a bonus. I think poops are just one hit, you know, one, one level of breakage. There's no HP to them. You just hit them three times, so the faster rate of fire, the faster they break. There's another coin, which is great. And we have our re-roll, so we can maybe go to the item room. Anytime soon would be great. That was a <laughs> very lucky thing. It's probably a library then. Yes. Ah, uh, hmm. No thanks. <laughs> Normally in a library, what you do, you pick up every book, put them back down and re-roll them. I'm not picking up those damn books, I haven't got the HP for it. If we can fly, we'll come back to that. But don't forget we're on a daily, we've got to get to Boss Rush. And we've got to do it, obviously on time. And we're not going very fast. Careful there. Don't really want to use that pill during a room. It could be addicted, it could be paralysis, any of these horrible things it could turn out to be. That wasn't a great time at all. Please, thank you. We'll take it now. It is power pill. Well, it would have been actually really good, but we weren't to know. I uh, don't really want that. We can open these golden chests for free. Uh, no, don't spend it. Yes, don't spend coins. We do need to pick up extra coins mm, if we want to get sack boy, and we really want to get sack head. Because keep saying sack boy. That's Northern Line's fault. You blame a lot of things on Northern Line as long as you watch his videos. Uh, for obvious reasons, his very blameable character. I would like to get more coins per leads. Uh, I was thinking in sort of in the realms of ten, rather than one at a time. But, you know, as you will. I used a strength card because this could be a difficult fight. I did not realise that it gave me a size up. <laughs> I don't want to be bigger. I'm happy being a small child. No one wants to grow up. Oh, that was close. Mom's wig, by the way. Outrageously good. I don't think we're going to be able to get Sackboy, and I'm not going to... I'm not going to spend the time trying. 
I suspect that it's possible had we been vigilant about taking all... Oh, yeah, brilliant. There's a fucking shitload of coins right now. Sackhead ain't going to show up again. Good. Just keep shooting. Keep shooting. Don't get hit by the fires. Getting good at that, I feel. Don't jump. Good. Now, this mega fat is going pretty quickly, which I'm a fan of. See if we can get something in whilst it jumps. See if we can get a circle on the ground, so if it lands on us. Yeah, there we go. Do damage. Oh, it's working. Wow, careful. <gasps> that was a very good circle. I'm glad I took black powder. Don't often get the opportunity to use it intentionally. Sometimes you can draw a circle whilst dodging around and things walk into it, and that's brilliant. Don't get often an opportunity to use it intentionally. And when you do, it feels good, man. Plenty of spiders helping out. Spiders do two and a half times your tier damage, but we don't have too many. So, use them sparingly, I suppose, is the uh, answer to that. So I'm trying to draw a circle. It's like a, it's a bit like more of the void. You end up trying to use it against your own better judgement. Because it's such a good damage dealer. Especially sort of passively. You can leave a circle lying around and things walk into it and you can go off concentrate on something else. Oh, this fucking bullshit. Die, you asshole. Do the thing where you suicide yourself. How did you avoid all the damage just now? Okay, good. That was a long, long room. Uh, not down with that. Don't fancy getting those. Oh, a battery charge right outside the, the body, though. Taking this. Now we've got devil uh, fodder. Currency for our deals with the devil, which we are taking. We've got plenty of HP that our vampire, Charm of the Vampire, can actually you know, refill if we so desire. In fact, there's a arcade on this floor, so maybe we should use that and try and get some coins. I don't think the use of the arcade machine actually contributes to your damage penalty. That's what I read on Reddit. And Reddit's always right, so I'll go with it. This is going to be difficult, because our range is still suffering a little bit from number one. Man. Another coin is good. We might want to look at the shop now. Uh, we do have a key for it. Of course, we're going to have to do Hush. and I don't want to go on about it, but oh, for fuck's sake. We have to do Hush. So, that's how I feel about that. If we don't do Hirsch, we're going to do shit on the daily. Right. Our score is going to suck. So we have to do Hirsch. That was a very good shot. But I managed to run rings around him and I will take the safety pin and not re-roll it. Let's go find the shop. We've got a little bit of time to go exploring. But the shop, I think, is extremely... Ooh, <laughs> extremely valuable. <sighs> take a deep breath. It's okay. <laughs> it weren't real spikes. There we go. Found the shop. Yeah, our rate of fire combined with our damage, thus DPS is pretty good. Uh, it's Greed. Go fuck yourself, Greed. No, fuck yourself, Greed. Greed. Get fucked. Oh, I walked into it. I was dodging twixt him. Betwixt the twivel. And I walked full fucking tilt into it. So that's a bad damage. That's a, that's on me. It's going to contribute to our damage. Penalty. Oh, well. I guess I'll um put some, some HP into this blood bank up here we're reasonably quick thanks to the belt that we got in the last floor I think so let's see what we can get uh, okay IV bag uh, actually I'll use it come on quick stop switching we go faster on the IV bag you see and then we can re-roll it because there's something to do with this and it gives us rune bag which is great um, I was probably a little bit overexcited about that but uh, I think rune bag can turn out to be extremely good now, here's what I'm thinking. Uh, no, I'm not. I was going to say, we can use the rune bag to try and get an AWAS rune to try and go a little bit further, but we can't use the AWAS rune to go beyond the Satan fight. We're only going to the... Going to the dark room? No, we're going to the dark room. So we can't actually go any further than usual. I was wrong about Satan to begin with. We're fighting the lamb. So we're going to need to do a lot more damage very quickly. So uh, a little bit worried about that. 13 minutes, that's one. We've only got a few minutes to get out of this room, because obviously we want to be out of that floor. We want to be out of this floor pretty quickly. That's not really what we want. 
you. Uh, we want all our time available to... Oh, not Curse of the Maze. I hate you, Curse of the Maze. I want to do what I'm doing. Not what you want to do. Let's do all the things you want to do. So as you're faster, you can make bigger and bigger circles. We do need to do boss rush as well as hush. There's our algae's room, which will help us do... I don't know. I was thinking of maybe grabbing that bomb there. Hmm, not really. It's probably not worth an entire algae's room just to do that. I'm thinking of going to the curse room, but we're going to need more spirit heart protection before we do that. Because it's still going to cost us on the way out. Or the way in, whichever one we don't pay for. Is our secret? It's not let us into our curse room, unfortunately. We've got to stay in line with Super Greed so that he's shot. Uh, I think I will re-roll this. It's blank card. Blank card algae's versus the D6. <gasps> well, if our boss fight is not too far away, we can definitely come back for that. That's going to be my, um, my idea there, especially since we do have the rune bag. Wow, careful. <laughs> we have the rune bag, which means we'll be getting the opportunity to get blank cards some other rune uh, eventually anyway, like Hagalaz, which is not really what I was thinking. I'm going to keep hold of Algiers until we get some a better option, basically. Uh, it could help. I'm not sure how it could help, um, but it could help. Maybe a, a, a demon beggar? We can probably sell a lot of fake HP to the demon beggar. Scum that one up, get some decent items out of it. <laughs> that was very close. Oh, what a shit dodge that was. It's only because it, you know, paid off that I feel okay about it, but seriously. Uh, that's shit. That's great. Do -do -do. Where the hell is the boss? <laughs> See, not being able to re-roll boss rush might be bad. Might be a bad play, but, you know, blank card algae is here. Having invincibility uh, like every other wave on boss rush. Blank card, two of diamonds. Interesting. I'm just going to use it straight away. Don't quite think blank card, two of diamonds is worth nah. uh, the, the investment, I suppose. The emotional investment. Yeah, it hurts my brain. We could get up to 99 cents immediately. Oh. Depending on what's in here, I think blank card may be the correct thing to take. We get blank rune. Blank card, blank rune gave us vision. Awas gives us. I'll oh, take your time, please. Algis again. Hagalaz again. Vakane will take. We've got another rune from blank rune, which gives us Hagalaz. another blank rune. That's a Hagalaz. Okay. Well, we're near the boss. We're going the right way. Oh, decisions. This is actually a very difficult decision. Blank card with... Um, but there's another Algis rune, so I'm going to use this. Blank card with the rune bag, specifically. Not just the runes that we have, but the runes we could get. Could be great. Rerolls could be even better. Algis lasts forever. I mean, we could just keep the Algis rune and use it on... the the lamb, I suppose. Keep holding it until the lamb. Ooh, packed. I'm very glad that there's enemies here. So I can re-roll these. Well, not these. But this. I don't want to take it. I don't want to take that either. That's why I didn't want to take it. I could have re-rolled into something we didn't want. I'm going to keep blank card, whatever I said. I'm going to take blank card. Although the secret room's a long way. Oh, uh, we're in the right place. Okay, good. Nope. Oh, we haven't got time to make boss rush if I do this crap. What am I doing? Think about this. What's this? Puberty. Okay. Right, run. Run, run, run as fast as you can. Can't run, run from the child catches hands. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Going too fast, making mistakes. Take the algae's rune. Answers. Hagalaz, algae's. Go down. Phew. Right, are we there yet? Mother. Answers would have been a great one, actually, right now. Uh, because, <laughs> we would know where the boss is. There it is right there. Oh, that's perfect. Thank you very much. 
Uh, we will go straight to the boss. Uh, I know where the item room is, though. Maybe we can get a teleport card on the way. That would actually be the best thing, I think. I don't want to cut it too fine, because obviously we have to make hush as well. Bad trick. Shit as belief. Cannot believe that just happened. Please, game, make up for that, you dick. Probably shouldn't really go around just willy-nilly taking... Ooh. We actually got enough uh, willingly taking damage. I'll <laughs> finish one sentence before I start the next one. Um, we got a proc from Cambion Conception, and it gave us Incubus, and I just made it out of that fucking shitstorm just now. Did you see that? Very much trying not to take stupid damage on this floor if I can manage it. Are we going to make it to the boss maybe just about in time? Hey, well, that's, well, that's a bad place to put that, but that's okay. Oh, God. Please, Incubus. Oh, I took damage. Never mind. It hasn't completely ruined our devil chance, and also... Uh, pardon me? And also... We're not likely to get one anyway. We've only got 30 seconds to beat Mom, if we can beat this fucking room in time. Good. And the next room. That's a golden bomb, don't care. Not even thinking about it. Move on. Problem. Don't care. Move on. Blank card, Algiers. Man, it takes ages to stop doing the animation. Now we can just walk into everything. Shoot it. Boom. Boom. We haven't got long. Oh, small rock. Amazing. Shit. Do damage. Come on. No. Oh, we didn't make it. Ah. That's okay. We only have to do hush. Hush is the expensive one. Wow, this is actually taking a lot longer than it should have. We're going up, not down. That's interesting. We'll take this. It's great. Um, so we're not actually doing the lamb. We're doing blue baby. Hmm. How are you supposed to know the difference between the negative and the Polaroid when it's bright red? I don't know. Careful. Good dodging. Good dodging. Bad dodging. That's okay. What do we win? Answers. Doesn't help. Not really rushing right now. We do have 10 minutes to get to Hush. Slightly salty we missed Boss Rush by the few seconds that it took me to pick up Blank Card, I suppose. Like, we would have made it if we hadn't taken Blank Card. But at the same time, we get invincibility every four rooms, so... I guess it's not that big a deal. I hate these things. They pop up and then shoot you. Right, hey, I'm gonna pop up and then shoot you. In the face. How long are you gonna spend holding the allergies card up? Great. So Dark Bum is gonna be feeding us with spirit hearts all the live long day, which is good because I keep taking stupid damage like that. Alright, slow down. Calm yourself, Yago. There is no need to take silly damage here because we are not in a mega mega rush. Uh, although, troll bombs in a brown chest is just a dick move. Where did that come from? Troll bombs in a red chest is expected. Another answers room. Jeez. Would have been good to have answers rooms earlier in the game, I think. Then we could go to the item room, item room, boss, done. And you know, get to boss rush. So this is not going to be a high ranking daily, simply because we didn't get to boss rush, which is important. No doubt that. But we still get to do Hush. I mean, there's a chance other people fail to get Boss Rush. It's not uncommon. Good. Um, but I expect that the people who got 52,000 did everything. Oh, fuck you. I hate this thing. You're happily walking through rooms, shooting the shit out of everything, and then there's one thing shooting back at you at the same fucking speed as well. Uh... How did I not take damage there? Well, let's not look at gift horse in the uh in wherever you look gift horses. I've got a Yarrow room. I have a blank card Yarrow, which I have to imagine is better than blank card algae's. Uh, because I can just infinitely duplicate a room to my heart's content. Probably not this one. Hmm, and we are going to the chest. So we're going to keep the Yarrow Rune for sure. Oh, we can break the chest. Although, we lose a lot of points. 
but once you've got Black Card Yera and you know you're going to be taking the piss, uh, you probably have to stop playing for points and start playing for shits and giggles. Which is what we're going to do. So, officially, this is a shits and giggles run. Hmm, I've had an idea. Right. I'm going to spend a little bit of time doing this, implementing this master plan. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to blank card Elges on the way into here. I'm going to open this. It's a deal with the devil. It's Krampus. I do not want Krampus. What? Did I walk into that fire? Wow, it's really bullshit that... Oh god. <laughs> Don't die. It's bullshit that Krampus can move while he's doing his brimstone attack. I know I can move while doing my brimstone attack. It's not the fucking point. Man. It's bullshit that Krampus can do it, and that's the point. I did take red heart damage, but also we just had our deal with the devil, so... Who gives a shit? Uh, so we'll go back and we'll just try not to die. Die Yara. Well, that was daft. <laughs> I mean, it was a great idea. Go to the curse room for free and then get completely royally owned by Krampus. Ah. Well, we don't need to do that because we can only teleport to the dark room. And we're going that far anyway, just in the other direction. So. Mm. Found pills. I found Got a. Uh... Oh, Jesus. Tiny room death. What is this all about? Wait for them to move and dodge. And don't walk into the pony. You walk into the pony. You dildo. I died. That was shit. <laughs> what the fuck did I do? I picked up Dark Bloom and still died. Oh my god. Tiny room death. Tiny room death. There's no room. It's a tiny room. Just wasn't. I. Uh, I think we could have done it. But I didn't done it. So we only came 2,000th. It's going to get even worse as time goes on. But that's what happens. I started off badly. You know, I took some stupid damage at the start of the game. I was just... I didn't have my head in the game. And that was my fault. But, you know, you got to get over these runs. you got to do them anyway. Keep your head in the game. Keep up the practice. And keep recording. So thank you for watching. If you liked it, say you liked it. If you didn't like it, say why you didn't. Give me some feedback. I'm looking forward to it. Remember to subscribe and tell your friends. That would be useful too. Thank you very much. And until tomorrow, I will see you.